Let's take a look at Brazil's starting 11 from their ridiculous 7-1 World Cup semi-final defeat to Germany in July 2014. Julio Cesar. If you want to look for a man whose career was almost instantly flushed down the toilet, look no further than Inter Milan. Once a treble winning keeper under Jose Mourinho, in 2014 he was hanging onto his Brazil place by his fingertips, two years after making Rob Green look like a world beater. He recently retired, making his final appearance for Flamengo in April. It doesn't really matter how many trophies that man won, he's always going to be remembered for letting in seven during a World Cup semi-final. Maicon. Maybe someone just put a curse on all the Brazilians at Inter Milan because Maicon is another whose career turned into fairy dust fairly quickly. As we all know, Gareth Bale reduced the world's best right back into a pale imitation of Zaddy Simpson in October 2010. Two years later, he was warming the bench at Man City. By the time the World Cup rolled around, he was enjoying a brief resurgence at Roma, but how he was selected ahead of Danny Alves for the World Cup semi-final, I will never know. The 36-year-old is currently a free agent and looking for a new club, having been released by Brazilian club of I. I wouldn't hold your breath, lad. David Luiz. It says a lot about this man's comedy brand of defending that he's 31 years old and we still can't say with any real degree of confidence whether he's a good defender or not. To be fair, that 7-1 hammering could have torn that man's confidence apart. To battle back and win titles in France and England afterwards was a good response to critics. Spending most of this season sitting in the stands nursing a fake injury, effectively sacrificing his World Cup hopes, wasn't really though. Dante. Dante has a trophy cabinet most footballers can only dream of, but my god he was a bang average defender. He was at Bayern Munich at the time, putting the fear of God into his own supporters every time he touched the ball. Judging by his first half display against the Germans, we can now see why. I would say he spent the next couple of years getting the mother of all piss ripped out of him back in the Bundesliga after that calamitous excuse of a performance. He's currently at some rehab clinic for washed up footballers, or as they're more commonly known, Nice Football Club. Marcelo. Marcelo was supposed to be the best left back in world football. I refer you to this game. Uh, Alright, to be fair, this was just one howler. Since then, the Brazilian has lifted multiple Champions Leagues and a league title, so that puts me in my place. Fernandinho. 2014 would still have been around the time that people were unfairly questioning Fernandinho, mostly by people who were just confusing him with Man City's Fernando, who was not only follically challenged, but well, did you see him attempt to trap the ball? Fernandinho was one of the Premier League's best midfielders and just lifted his second league title with Man City. Luis Gustavo. Luis Gustavo has barely played for Brazil since this game. I'm not surprised considering how little impact he was making, with the likes of Tony Cruz dancing past him every three minutes. The former Bayern Munich and Wolfsburg man is currently at Marseille. Bernard. Just 21 years old when he was tossed into the pit of fire that was this World Cup semi-final, I'm surprised Bernard's mental fragility didn't crumble like a bowl of stale Weetabix. The talented winger is lighting it up with Shakhtar Donetsk, which has been an unusual sort of home for Brazilians in recent years. Not really sure why, isn't it cold in Ukraine? Oscar. Oscar did grab a consolation, but don't be fooled, barely anyone in the stadium was smiling when he did. Manuel Neuer actually looked disgusted at giving up a clean sheet. Relax, lad, you're 7 0 up. Oscar was always the golden boy at Stamford Bridge, with the likes of Juan Mata and Mohamed Salah tossed on the scrap heap for him, and he's repaid the club's loyalty by waving goodbye and sacrificing his own career for a bag of cash in China, where he gets to line out alongside a bunch of guys he's never heard of. How dignifying. Hulk. Hulk is one of only three other non-Chinese players to play alongside Oscar at Shanghai Shenhua. There seems to be a bit of an exodus these days. The 31-year-old Beefcake is the captain and has scored 38 goals in 59 appearances. Does he feel like a big man to score against a bunch of lads when he started playing football in 2005? I bet he'd probably enjoy scoring against a bunch of kids down the local park as well. I'm not saying Hulk is motivated by money, but five years ago he was linked with the likes of Chelsea and then went to spend four years in Russia instead. Fred. The worst Brazilian striker I've ever seen lead the line for his country. And this was in a semi-final. Absolutely shocking. Not to be confused, of course, with the Shakhtar Donetsk midfielder on the tip of everybody's tongue this summer. Fred was a sluggish, overweight, 30-year-old Fluminense centre-forward who would have been better off watching the games on the local pub for all the contribution he offered. Currently at Cruzeiro at the age of 34.